going on everybody it's your boy rick one ball coming at you again with yet another classic if you don't know what i'm doing i'm making sure i cover each and every nba game to provide you with up-to-date sports analysis as well as my opinion on these games the, game. the dallas mavericks versus the golden state warriors and the only recipe i have for the mavericks in the beginning of the game is you got to come out with the energy, your energy cannot be less than the Warriors. You got to come out, you got to punch them directly in the mouth, and you got to limit them to one opportunity. Well, the exact thing, exact uh, opposite thing happened. I watched the Warriors get multiple opportunities on the glass. I watched Luka Doncic in that first half. He kept barking at the referees to the point where Anybody that says it's a novice fan is going to say this is ridiculous. He let his team go all the way back down on defense. Luka Doncic is way in the backcourt. This happened like five times. Luka Doncic, you just killed your team, bro. You were killing your team with a five-on-four opportunity. Now, one thing I got to say about Steph Curry. Steph Curry came out. He twisted that ankle early on in the first quarter. And, and that was supposed to work to the Dallas Mavericks' benefit. But this is why I always have a hard time comparing Steph Curry to LeBron James or anybody that's a really a great, a great player. Steph Curry went out on the bench for God knows how long. That man said it felt like Steph Curry was sitting on the bench for almost a quarter. You had Klay Thompson. First of all, Klay Thompson is Klay Thompson. He's going off. I mean, as soon as he two steps in front of half court, he licensed to shoot the damn ball. He was killing him. Uh, Andrew Wiggins was looking like Tracy McGrady going to the basket at will would, would not be denied. You had another player. I, I don't even know his name. He was a no name. He got the dreadlocks and the headband on the Warriors. He's a no name. He made like three threes. Just all based off of Luka Doncic staying back in the in the backcourt. Warriors Warriors going to halftime up 17 points, and that was it. Could have been way more than that, but thankfully Spencer Din Dinwiddie both quarters had heroic three point opportunities at the end of the clock. Spencer Dinwiddie, I got on you a lot, but you did some good things this game. But this this was just too much. This was too much. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, when you have a third quarter the way Luka Doncic had that third quarter, all is forgiven. That man has stepped back three-pointers, going to the hole at will, and it all happened after he got busted in his mouth. He started wiggling on those chicklets, and it might have did something to his competitive nature. That man woke up. He woke up. And every time in this series, whoever wins the third quarter, they win the game. So I was looking really excited that Luka Doncic woke up from his slump. Now let me say this. The Warriors didn't need Steph Curry in this fourth quarter whatsoever. The tale of this fourth quarter was Kavon Looney, his defense on, on, on centers, as well as point guards. He locked down and put a lock on uh, Jalen Brunson. I watched him do it. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, get that man his flowers right now. I mean, damn. This man playing like he want to get his first championship. Hats off to you. I ain't mad at you, man. But 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 uh, Luka Doncic, he was just spent. The game was still serviceable. Uh, it, it was still in striking distance. They were down 13 points, 10 points, all due to uh, all due to uh, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie and his heroics. And the game was still serviceable. Luka Doncic was just settling for deep, deep three pointers, and he was spent. He didn't have the energy to attack in that fourth quarter. Uh, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. Uh, for doing what people didn't think you were going to do. Uh, congratulations. No hard feelings. It's all good. Uh, you have a great team. You guys have a great team. Congratulations. It's your boy Rick One Ball. Like, comment, subscribe. Woo!